Now, as you can see here, um, it's all had at least one coat, um, but saying that, it varies between them all what's had what. So um, I'm having a very careful keep a, a breast on um, what bits have had what, so as not to get it all mixed up and not give enough to some bits and too much to others. Now, this PC has had three coats and it's looking reasonably good. It'll get a rub over with um, the orbital sander and a very, very fine grit paper so as just to take off any of that um, unevenness. But it, it's feeling quite smooth. Um, these middle and top horizontal pieces, um, this side has had two coats, the other side has had one coat. All the uprights, that's them ones there that are for the bottom, um, and these ones here which are for the top, have all had two coats on both sides, because I can flip them. So they're waiting one more coat. Um, the skirting board and uh, feathering, in, feathering in pieces, ugh, that was a mouthful, um, they've had one coat. This piece, as you can see, is the skirting board box. Pump piece for it. Again, one coat it's had. The shelves, one coat on both sides. So they need two more coats on both sides in order to get it to where I want it to be. I'll get on now with um, sanding down this base. See what it feels like. If it's good enough, I'll leave it at that and then aim everything at that level. And that really, we've got to a finish at that point. What I've got to do then is um, do a dry assembly. That is, put it all together without any glue. Um, complete lent against the wall or something so that it won't stack, fall over. Um, but just make sure that everything is fitting and working before I go on site. Because, say, the, the centre shelves are slightly out, which is a possibility. There could be a couple of mil out when it's all assembled. If it, that was the case, then I can chop all of them accurately here, done. On site, I either bring them back or I try and do it with the tools I carry with me. Um, dowels, if they're out of place, yeah, I can do some adjustment on site, but it's all better if it's here, if I can check and make sure totally everything is working fine and going to go together as I want it to before I set. I'm not giving that anymore, that is lovely. It feels nice and it looks the part. So that is what I'm aiming at. Um, now remember this is a satin sheen. Uh, if it were gloss, we, I think we'd be getting a lot of depth there by now because that is a nice rich satin and very even satin finish. Almost a leathery feel to it and appearance as well, which is, I like it, that's good. Right, so let's get um, on with the other pieces, I want to flip them two and do the other side so that they've had two coats complete. <clears throat> right, everything is now finished, ready to go. Um, but before I go any further, I want to, um, or at least before I go on site, I want to dry assemble everything, put the whole thing together without making it permanent, obviously just standing it all up. What I need to do here is this is one of the side walls upper side walls and I want to um, put the pegs in and um, there's going to be five, uh, four shelves on each so I want to subdivide this evenly um, and what I've ended up with is about 250 mil gap between them all. Now because of all the uh, finishings that's gone onto this board since I did the holes and the sanding they're a little bit difficult to get these things in obviously there would be um, so I'm just using a tapered punch and I will just punch it in um, two, four, five and that one like this in and and that then will allow it to just sit in reasonably well and I can just tap it on a little bit um, now they, they are chamfered ones these so they do have a, a, a shelf seating point so a top and a bottom that's it. Um, so at that side. She's not making a move. Not by any means. Um, it's just making them so I can get them in. 
two, four, six, seven, and then I want that one. Two, four, six, seven. What's that one? Two, four, six, seven. Is that one? That should be five. Yep, that's five top, five bottom, and that bit. So it does that the same. Now they can be adjusted, obviously the customer can adjust them all they want, um, moving them up and down 30 mil spaces that it has, uh, or the other ones, yeah. I'm just doing this so that it's easier to just slip a shelf on to make sure everything is working properly. I've already done the bottom up bike. It was easy because they just have one shelf, which I put exactly in the middle. But again, the customer like one big atlases or something on the bottom. And let's move it. Okay, that's that one. I'm going to turn it over and do the same again. Now, <clears throat> I've marked the top, so if you're going to do them erratically, all over the place, different heights for different books and all that sort of stuff, you just got to remember that they're all facing the top when you do that. This side again. Two, four, five. That one. Um, I want to glue in the downs into all the uprights at the correct setting. Um, I've set the depth stop um, on the dowels, drilled in the horizontals, so I know exactly how much I can leave sitting out to be correct. Um, and I'm doing it today because if any glue oozes out, it's going to bond the whole thing together. So I want to do that now, do it today, and then leave it to stand overnight. Um, and that way then all the glues are cured and everything, and it's ready, and I can just very quickly start assembling it on, which I get in the okay. Um, just a, a tight bond wood glue. It's a, it's a for, for dark wood, what I had. It's not specially bought for the job. You'll get glue oozing out of it, um, and that just assures you that it's gluing itself in properly, which is what you want. Um, so there's no harm in that, it's just we want to make sure that it's all cured before we go assembling things tomorrow. Um, <coughs> as we say, we just dry it. Okay, do the short ones while they're setting up there.
shape that. Okay, that's it done. Right. Now, um, tomorrow I'm just going to sand over the shelves one more time, just a fine sanding. They've had the finished coat of varnish. Um, and then all the pieces are ready. Um, and that's it. So, that's me done for today. <laughs>